Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Today we are continuing our series talking about some prospects of this summer's draft and ultimately some that didn't even get drafted. Today we're going to talk about one player that I think has a tremendous potential upside, why he has that upside, and why he's one of my favorites. That was a sleeper pick for this summer's this summer signings and why I think he has potential to be very, very good on the Lakers or somebody else if the Lakers miss this opportunity. The player we are talking about is Blake Hinson. Blake Hinson is this number 36 right here. The reason I even know about Blake Hinson in the first place is because I was looking up some of the best shooters from last year, and Blake Hinson was one of those shooters that essentially played at Pittsburgh and shot the ball lights out at Pittsburgh, especially for his size. So Blake Hinton went undrafted but signed a two-way contract with the Lakers this summer. I don't know what his current status is, but I have to imagine he's essentially some people are going to be talking about him for sure. So the first thing we're going to look at is Blake Hinton in transition. So the first thing is as that block happens, look at the instantly sprinting. Okay, so the first thing we're going to notice about Blake Hinton is he's obviously like fairly big, but he uses his body very, very well and he moves around very well despite having essentially a lot of size like for this and while a lot of freak athletes this would have been a dunk the ability to get to the rim knowing where to be and avoid that block right there is crucial so while his driving is going to be okay his transition is going to be okay his passing i think is actually pretty good we looked at i saw some of that in college the biggest thing that i think is going to separate him from the crowd is he shoots it lights out you give him space and the opportunity he will punish you on a level that just the majority of college athletes will not do. He shot lights out in this game. And even if you don't make this shot, having the defense respect you this much and close out to you know that you get fouled, that is essentially the same concept as making the shot individually. In college last year, Blake Henson shot 42% with an effective field goal percentage of 57%. Those are the kinds of numbers that I absolutely love. I think somebody, frankly, should have drafted Blake. However, given that he didn't, I definitely think he should get an opportunity in the league. I love the fact that he's going to provide spacing, the fact that he moves well without the ball, and is decent at a bunch of things, but shoots the ball so, so well. You give him space whatsoever, he's going to rise up and bury these threes in your face. And the thing is, he's not a big name, and he doesn't have a lot of publicity behind him, so he's not going to be someone that gets a lot of... If I was the GM of a team that needed spacing, Blake would definitely be on my top five list. I'd be looking at him aggressively because you want spacing as long as he's able to produce on those other levels, and I believe he's going to be able to do. And he gives you so much versatility for your offense because he's able to come off screens like that right there, and the defense has to adjust accordingly. And so you put stress on this defender, put stress on this defender, and it gives more space for everyone, namely LeBron James and AD, to work with opportunity. I think Blake Hempson is an absolutely undervalued player in the draft because of his lack of relative name, the fact that he's going to be a lights-out shooter, and he's going to provide in other facets of the game as well. Absolutely very, very high on Blake Hempson. If you enjoyed this, feel free to check out my video on Dalton Connect as well as feel free to like and subscribe. But most importantly, have a blessed rest of your day.